pizza, nay, pizza. And the guy's like, nay, pizza. You're like, nay. So I don't know how to focus uh, like emotionally in the game because I have good reasons to do things, but I also make bad decisions I know after the game, but justify it with like, I'm smart enough to trick myself to doing bad things. And I don't okay. know how to fix that in the moment. I feel like I just got word saladed. Did I just get word salad? That's, that's, <laughs> Did anybody order a so, salad? And I fixate and tunnel on things and think of like in air quotes, good reasons to do things and overcommit to bad plays. And then after the games, I'm like, that was dumb. And you know, that's dumb. If someone asked you, that would be dumb. So I don't know how to cognitively remain like on pace. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, the natural, the natural question would be like, if you feel like you're you're fucking spacing out in game or at the very least like losing your your focus so to speak right on what the good the good details and the bad details are or maybe you're just being like forgetful next question is going to be do you exercise i don't now because the amount of time my career takes up sounds like that's more important than league to me that's true i um, i mean that's also why i bailed on a bunch of like super high goals i'm not trying to be challenger anymore like i'm just i want to be diamond the highest i've peaked is like promos to plateau to <laughs> that's a pretty bridge. good position to be in brother work out and then come back and play the game how much you play league how much league you play uh not anywhere near as much anymore how I much play, like, give me numbers games. dude I've played i've played like 120 games this season and most of those were like three months ago and that's not a lot, but you say three months ago, bro. You're all over the board. Yeah. Stop giving me weird yeah. answers. You I said my poll. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I knew this. <laughs> He's a weird answer. Three months ago, you could have been working out for three months. What does that even mean? Well, I tra I travel for work, so I can't like bring my laptop. I don't have. I have a PC. And you're not working out still. Correct. Work out. Okay. Take care of your health. No, I mean it. I, I mean, I'm not even, I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to bullshit you. Like I work out six times a week, dude. I'm one, I have the, I have like the most fucking intense schedules ever. I have like crazy stupid schedules. I'm juggling a lot. Like I, I'm married. I, I run, you know, I run three YouTube channels. Obviously I'm helping with this, right? This is my company, right? Yeah. Working I'm out is in a handway right now, bro. <laughs> working out, working out is like seriously. If you are, if you are, I'm not kidding. Like, if you are trying to take things seriously, right, and you're finding yourself like you're getting on yourself about cognitive bullshit, right? Like, the best advice I could give you is like you're probably you're probably just juggling a lot, and you need to you need to recenter. I'm not saying you have to go meditate, but like I run. There's a reason I run, dude. You need you need to find a thing where you can just vibe out and just like listen to some fucking music and just be in your own head for a bit. I'm and I'm not I'm not fucking kidding. Like I'm not hyping it up to sound cool. Like it, it's a way that I don't I I lose my mind. If I do nothing but play this game, I just lose my mind. Yo, what's your question? What's up, Nice? Uh I have a question that's not about league, it's about you. Is that is that okay? Is that okay? Is it going to uh, be like what are you wearing? Uh, no, 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 that's a little bit weird for me. That's a little bit weird. Okay, okay. Maybe, fair. maybe sometimes if I'm in the right mood. But, okay, uh, fair enough. How's Korea? Uh, how's, how's Korea going? Hey, I appreciate that question, man. It's a change up. I like a change up. Um, have you have you had any really good food there? Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, we've gotten. Oh, dude, that's, that's it. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you guys some. Um, okay, I've had Korean fried chicken, which is very good. Very good. Uh, two, two, like two or three different spots. Fuck it. I'll probably do it tonight because I have to run six miles. That's how you know I'm not kidding. I'm running like six miles and going to the gym after that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do, I'll probably do like Korean fried chicken. The reason why I'm eating food like that is because I'm like working out a little more so I could like offset it a little bit, right? Uh, because I wanted to enjoy the food. But uh, Korean fried chicken was good. Korean barbecue was good. That was legit. Um, we found a couple good spots. Mary doesn't like kimchi, so it's been kind of hit or miss for us. Like, we've gone to some weird spots. It's been like, all right, this isn't a great... If you guys are curious what it's like here, um, you know how, like, stores are very clearly stores in the U.S.? You know what I mean? Like, if I go to a restaurant, it's very clearly a restaurant, right? Like, it's just there's a building. <laughs> It's like, here's Sally's fucking soups or whatever, right? Like, it's a, it's a building. But, like, you go to Korea, and, like, it, it'll be just like a... It'll be just like someone's house. Someone's home. Yeah, they just look at you funny. <laughs> and you're just, like, looking at your phone. <laughs> yeah, you're, like, looking at your phone, and the app's like, this is the pizza place. 
And so you'd be like, because they say pizza differently. They say pizza, right? They say pizza. So you're just like, pizza, 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 nay, pizza. And the guy's like, nay, pizza. You're like, nay. You're like, go and like sit down. But like, the thing is, is it looks like someone's fucking home. Like you have no idea because the businesses kind of like intersect. You know what I'm saying? They like intersect with like the home. These guys will just have a house and it'll be where they run their business. So that's been kind of interesting. Cause like stumbling through people's houses has been a little awkward. Also, if you a go at a bad time, you yeah. Cause like recently it was Chuseok, which is like their, um, their Korean like Thanksgiving. So Mary and I just like walked into somebody's restaurant and there was people sitting there eating. And we're like, you know, basically we we're just like, is this open? And the guy's like, we're closed, but they're clearly eating. Cause it's their fucking house. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's a great question. It's been great. Um, I tweeted about this recently. It's like, I, we're in like, I'm in gamer paradise here. We, Mary's all, like, she's amazing. She's in the Navy. So she's active duty. We've got a house here on the base. Um, it's very quiet. It's right outside the town, but it's like far enough to where it's super quiet. Uh, there's a gym next door, like right next door to me. Basically there's a track about a mile away. Uh, there's, there's, uh, a grocery store, right? Like, a not even a half a mile away from me. I can just walk and get my groceries. It's Nice dream spot. Really happy with where I'm at. Super happy. That sounds absolutely awesome, man. Thank you for the question. Appreciate it. My question is actually, how did you pick what role to get serious with as you started to play League? Did you I hear me talk about everything. playing League of Legends earlier? Uh, yeah, I've been in here for a while. Yeah, do you remember that? That's basically it. I just look at what it is that like, I basically look at roles that I think have the most impact, right? And the most responsibility. And once I figure out like what I think has the most responsibility or at the very least has a lot of carry potential in a lot of situations, that's normally when I start looking really closely at if I want to do it or not. So like, uh, you know, right now it's jungle for me because I just recognize that the majority of the player base is very bad at it. Like very, okay. very, very bad at it. And as players get better at leaning, the jungle skill gap is rewarded more heavily, right? Players are slowly okay. getting better at laning because they see, you know, they see lanes all the time, right? Jungling is still relatively unsolved in the sense that like most players don't know what the fuck they're doing. I can go into a ranked game right now and I bet most players that are in jungle, like somebody's gonna fuck their clear up. You know what I mean? And like if we get two players, somebody's gonna like hard fuck up their clear. Right? That's huge. Sure. That's huge. I mean, think about it. Think about it like that. Like, if you're looking at it like um, level two all ins, yeah, level two all ins work. But let's let's flash back to like season three, right? When I started playing, or season four, dude, I could just kill every fucking person on level two. Every like every person with Trindamir, I could just spin on them and kill them. Like every time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, definitely. It was like okay. it, it was like a guarantee. It was like well. I'm level two now. Let me get this free 400 gold from this moron and then we're good to go. But now it's like, I feel like players start to recognize it a little bit more. You could obviously still snowball. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that since jungle isn't as obvious when people are fucking up, right? Like, yeah, here's another, here's another way to think about it. Imagine if, <laughs> imagine if you clear your jungle at the perfect time, right? And then the announcer comes on is like perfect clear, right? That doesn't happen. <laughs> right. Right. It doesn't happen. Does it? Or, or if the enemy jungler, if the enemy jungler like fucks his clear up by 30 seconds, right? The double bogey, the fawn double bogey, right? <laughs> right. Fuck, fucks the clear up. Damn. Fucks the clear up. As soon as she fucks the clear up, the, the game goes jungler sucks. FF. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's no it's not obvious is it like you know when your teammate dies in lane it's obvious but finishing a clear one minute late you might as well have died yeah i guess i never really thought about it like that right like you you could have died and it's like there's no difference you you fucked the whole game you're a minute late like but no one's even gonna notice. Like you're gonna just go through your day. You're, you're gonna go through your game, and no one's gonna notice how much you suck at the role, right? There might be one. There might be one asshole in there that plays jungle that starts bitching at you. 
But like even that person's distracted a lot of the time because they're laning. They don't even notice that you're so far behind. It's ridiculous. And think about it. When the, when junglers could have like, uh, you know, the same XP as laners, like exactly the same or more XP than laners, like season six shit. Junglers that understood pathing would destroy anybody that didn't understand pathing. So that's why I'm on Twitter. Like when junglers are like, my role's so weak. Wah, wah, wah. The role is really fucking strong still right it's just that yeah. it's like it's like but it's like imagine no, yeah, yeah yeah imagine every day you get 10 cookies right and your neighbors they get five cookies okay you you all don't know who's getting what amount of cookies right so it's like you go to your neighbors like do you have your cookies today yeah i loved them and you with your 10 cookies like me too right then one day you wake up and you only get five cookies, right? You still have the same yeah. amount of cookies that your neighbors have. Your neighbors have been getting the same. Yeah, the neighbors, the neighbors are already used to five cookies, right? Suddenly it feels like you're a lot more hungrier than the neighbors are for some reason, <laughs> right? Cause you got used, you got used to eating 10 cookies every day, bro. Right? So, of course, the neighbors are like, I don't know what this guy's problem is. He's a lot more irritable lately. Why is, why is Daniel, why is Daniel so fucking mad? Hasn't Daniel gotten the same cookies that we've gotten? And then Daniel's like, my house sucks. I don't get enough cookies over here. <laughs> right? Right? That's what the fucking jungle roll is. And they've been they've been getting they've been getting like a shit ton of cookies for years and you pulled the cookies away, right? And you gave them a normal amount of cookies that everybody else had to work with. But even still, honestly, even in this metaphor, it's more like Daniel's got like six or seven cookies. Do you understand what I'm saying? And technically, there's some guy in a the house, there's like an ADC and a support, they've only got like two cookies. We have cookies. Thank you for the wonderful metaphor. <laughs> yeah. It's like the, the the bot lanes only got like a few cookies each, right? Mid and top got like five cookies. Jungle's got like six or seven cookies. You understand the metaphor now? We got we got yeah, like a cookie. Definitely. We got like a cookie allocation here. It's all fucked up. <laughs> so pick the roll. Pick the roll. Let's get the most cookies. You understand? I like it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Thank you thanks. so much. <laughs> so my first question is like, how do you deal with like? Uh, I guess getting unlucky, right? So let's say like uh, I'm in a like one v one at like level four, right? And the guy lives on one HP or something, right? And then I die or something for like from a gang or something. Mm -hmm. And that like for me at least it sticks with me like for the entire game, you know. But, so but why does it that. stick with you, though? Because you have to know when you go into the VOD, there's a reason that you were low enough to where it was, like, that close. There's a reason. It's more than just, I got unlucky. Yeah, but, I, I mean, is that unlucky or is that just you being, you know, is that just a misplay? I don't think that's unlucky. That's a misclick, right? We're humans. We misclick. That's what we do. Yeah, true. We're humans. We misclick. I'll get, like, level two ganked, you know, or something, and the guy would live, like, on one HP. But that's yeah, still that's not that's just... still not unlucky. That's not unlucky. Mm -hmm. It's not because you know are you your top lane, I think, right? Uh mid lane, mid lane. Oh you're mid? Uh mid mid lane Yasuo, like ninety percent of That's not unlucky there. at all, mid lane Yasuo. Right? You know you know that like you're gonna get ganked often as Yasuo. Yeah. Why not just go like yeah, D shield yeah. and like fucking bone plating in a situation where you know you're going to get ganked off and early right or second wind and like d shield you know you're going to get ganked early that's what i mean when i'm saying it's not it's not unlucky it's planning it's a planning failure usually it's a planning failure or just like you're human <laughs> you're a human and yeah. like you do human shit it's not unlucky right like if i was i don't know if i uh, let's just imagine twisted fate like i play twisted fate I go to pull my card, yeah. I misclick it, I pull a red card. Most of the time I pull a yellow card, occasionally I'm gonna pull a red one. I've watched Dopa pull the wrong card. Is that unlucky? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's unlucky. I think that's just, that's human. You can't, and it's not much you could do to fix that. You're human. In a perfect yeah, world. I mean like, uh, 
you know when it, someone like lives on like let's say three HP. But you keep nice using the scenario. Good. You keep using the scenario of like yeah. living. What is this hang up with like three <laughs> HP? And a one <laughs> HP, one tower. But what does it matter? You know it has more to do than the than with the physical number. Mm -hmm. It has. There's just more details than that. What, what's happening is you see it as unlucky. I see it as just like. Oh well, like I fucked something up here. That's all I see. Because if I did the play right, the guy would be dead anyways. Like it that that's what I'm trying to say, I guess, is that like it's a planning yeah, failure. It's, uh, it's yeah, no it's different. Better, he uh, can live with better. think of it like this. Think of it like this. How about this? He could live with 300 HP, 3000 HP, or 1 HP. It doesn't change the outcome at all. There's no change. At yeah. least in terms of that singular moment, right? Obviously, if someone lives with more HP and then your team dies because you didn't do enough damage. But what I'm saying in the singular example of someone living with like one HP, it makes no difference. Yeah. It has no, it has no relevance. It's all the same. Somehow, I fucked something up to where those numbers, I did not reach critical mass. On Yasuo, right? There's a lot of getting really low. Right? So we go back yeah. through the VOD and I see you throw a Q at a minion wave that you weren't supposed to, which caused your wave to push up a little further than it was supposed to, right? And then all of a sudden a gank shows up and then you die by one HP because you were just like two, three Teemos more forward than you were supposed to be, yeah. right? That's what I'm trying to say. It's like there's other shit that contributes to the outcome of you know the guy lives with like no health it can't possibly be that like you've gotten unlucky unless like i don't know you're facing fucking trindamir and he bullshit crits you in the early game right that's um that's like the only unlucky thing left in the fucking game in a lane phase really right bullshit trindamir crit bullshit trindamir crit you go to lane trindamir spins on you crits you three times sure you could say unlucky there dude <laughs> I'll give you if that's if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, that's unlucky. I mean, right? It's part of the game. Yeah, I think the second thing might connect. I guess. Uh, Only one more question like, though, because I got other people. I want to give as many yeah. as I can. Yeah, yeah. So like uh, most of the time, like mm -hmm. I'd say seventy percent of the time, right? Like I'm hard winning lane, but at like fourteen minutes or something, I'll like or for that kind of like 10 minutes right mm -hmm. i'll get like three man four man and most of the time that's where i like throw you know mm -hmm. throw my baby so i like i don't know how to deal with that you know pay attention to your fucking map it's a prio problem it's a prio problem <laughs> I mean that three, three, four man roams or whatever the fuck, those happen, but like, if you're constantly getting caught by it, that means you're probably doing well if the other team feels like they have to three or four man you. So the next step is to just be aware that that's a possibility when you do well. I know I am. If I'm doing well and I'm playing mid, I know that it's very possible that the enemy team gets mad at me and sends like three or four people. So I'm watching bottom and top to pay attention to when heads start moving. Or when Pryo, like when Pryo goes under tower, like bot lane or top lane, uh, when I see the wave go under tower, that's an alarm bell for me. It's just another thing you got to juggle in the game. This is what I was talking about earlier with like juggling shit that's like other players aren't, right? Like yeah. just because so, like, you see the waves going around, that's not just like, that's not empty information. That's information that most laners ignore. Mids have to be particularly aware of it. Top laners have to be half aware of it. Bot laners have to be half aware of it. Mid laners have to be doubly aware of it because you can now get ganked from bottom and top, right? That's a permanent option for the enemy team. How do you like balance that with like uh, using your lead, you know? Because like... It, Push and watch. Like, watch the fucking map. Yeah, you're overthinking it. Just fucking watch the map. If you push, team disappears. You have to back off. You have to give them credit. You can't, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a, pro, it's not an odds game. You have to back off and give them credit or at least be prepared that like that's coming and that you're, you're ready to play against it. Right. The problem yeah. is, it sounds like, is that these gangs are showing up and you're reacting to them happening instead of having planned it. It's the same thing I tell split pushers. Yeah. If I push and a, and a player shows up and I fight them. Someone watching my stream goes, I, I get a double kill or 2v1 or 3v1 or whatever. My stream goes, oh, wow, Nisa's so good at 
wow, his reactions or reflexes or whatever, right? Like whatever it is, this has, has nothing to do with that. I just, I knew they were coming. I was watching. I just, I planned it before they got there. This isn't like superstar shit. I literally just planned it. It's like I'm playing Fiora. Okay, I face a Blitzcrank, a fucking uh, Trindamir, and a fucking, I don't know, a mid lane Lux, right? I already know in my head that when they show up, I've already, pl I've been planning it the whole time. I know when they show up, Blitzcrank's gonna do this, Lux is gonna do this, Trindamir's gonna do this. I kind of spit out what I think would be an answer, right? And I try to do the outplay. It wasn't they show yeah. up and then I say, fuck it, YOLO, and just start swinging. <laughs> Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, it's just I not. Think it's, like you said, it's like planning. Yeah. It is absolutely 100%. Because I know, because I've died to it, and I know what adjustments had to, you know what I mean? What I had to start yeah. doing to fix it. You'll find that the more that you were planning on it, and don't get me wrong, like, dude, I'm human. Like, there's sometimes, there's sometimes where I'm just full autopilot and I'm not planning at all. Right? And you can kind of do that. But what I'm saying is, if you're really playing your A game, when they're rotating. You're pressing tab and you're like, who's coming for me and can I outplay them? 